Hello friends, today we will be looking at financial engineering, a very new branch of engineering which is developed in last two or three decades. Of course, initially it is developed and implemented in developed countries, western countries, but even in India, SEBI and other organizations have started courses in financial engineering. What is this financial engineering? Well friends, when you do the business, there are a number of risks involved in the business. For example, there may be the risk of turnover, whether I will be able to sell, how much I can sell, whether my sales will go up or will be less. There is a risk like this which is called as business risk. The businessman has to take a decision regarding how much capital he should have. Should that capital be raised out of own sources or borrowed sources? If it is borrowing, should it be short term or long term? This can be called as financial risk. There is a risk of increase in the prices, which can be called as inflation risk. A credit risk is another risk where you take the risk of selling the goods on credit and then you don't know whether you will be able to recover the amount from the debtors. There may be liquidity risk, there may be operating risk, there may be interest rate risk. Interest rates may go up or fall down and this change in the interest rate will create some risk for you. Similarly, there could be exchange rate risk. If you are dealing with foreign customers or suppliers, the exchange rate plays an important role. If you are raising funds from outside, the exchange rate is going to play a very important role. So this change in the exchange rate will create some risk for you. There may be commodity price risk. So many risks are involved in a business and there is a need therefore to manage all these types of risks in order to do your business good in order to increase your profit and in order to increase the net worth of your business. So these risks are to be assessed, are to be imagined and some innovative solutions are to be worked out for managing these risks. And these innovative solutions may involve creating some financial instruments and implementing those financial instruments for, the, for minimizing the risks in the business. So, designing the instruments, developing the instruments and implementing the instruments to mitigate the risk which you assess, all this is covered in the term financial engineering. There could be three ways to minimize these different types of risks. One could be Insure the risk. Simple thing. Second could be manage your assets and liabilities in such a way that the risk is minimized. And third one is hedging. For hedging, well, there are different types of instruments. These may be called as derivatives. So derivative is an asset which has no value of its own but it derives the value from some other asset therefore it is called as a derivative some transactions in future or future transactions are transacted today so these are the transactions which you enter into today but which are to be executed on the decided date in future but the rate is decided today, the timing is decided today, the volume is decided today, that is derivative in short. It may be in the form of futures, may be forward, may be swap, may be options. So different types of instruments are prepared, they, their pricing is decided, hedging is done, trading is done of these instruments and the risk is minimized. This is financial engineering in short. Just to give one or two examples of this, well in USA in 2008 and 9 when there was subprime crisis, 
we all know two types of derivatives were developed and they were the cause of problem one was mbs mortgage backed securities and second one collateralized debt obligation cdos so the loan portfolio of the financial institutions were sold as this loan portfolio was housing loan portfolio that portfolio was having mortgage as backing this loan portfolio is sold through an instrument which is called as mortgage backed security so this is a type of derivative and as this loan repayment came into problem mbs honor honoring the mbs was also a problem second example could be of greece where the greece government made some instruments for what for the future toll that the government can collect and that future toll collection was sold through a derivative this is another example of financial engineering i think in modern business finance plays a very important role earlier it was production it was marketing but now finance is also equally important in business and hence financial engineering is gaining more and more importance in the next episode let us meet with some another concept thank you very much bye